everybody. So as promised, this is the first of the how-to series. We are going to be doing a pretty flashy first how-to. It'll be how to paint interior panels. Now, I've painted a lot of different interior panels. Usually, to match the exterior paint is, I feel, the most aesthetic kind of way of doing it. It brings the whole car together and centers it on the interior. Especially if you love the color of your car. If you don't, maybe don't do that. But uh, this particular individual is a friend of mine. Uh, he likes the color of his truck. It's blue. It's really unique. Um, and this really brings the whole interior together, harmonizes it. This is a 2017 Toyota Tundra and on this particular vehicle the interior has like eight different shades going on here. You have a brushed aluminum, you have a gloss black, you have a bright silver, you have a flat black, then you have black leather, and then you have a black rubber, then chrome, then chrome around the bezels. It, uh, it has a lot of different textures and colors going on. Uh, none of it really seems to be <laughs> cohesive. So what we've started to do, as I'll show you right now, um, the steering wheel. It was painted and uh, that was kind of a pain because there's a lot of uh, little buttons behind there. You got to place them back just right. Um, we've already done the shifter and the shifter bezel. That was that took some work. And uh, as a joke, I did Plasti Dip his cup holder pink. That was awesome. Deep down inside, I think he loved it because he kept it for a, all winter. But uh, now it is summertime again and we want to do some more stuff to this so we're going to be cutting uh, some decals applying them stripping the decal off the back this says TRD 4x4 but we're going to be changing up the font something a little bit more aggressive uh, unique yet still factory so it'll be it'll be real neat now the center console around the stereo there's two plastic pieces that that basically surround the stereo and they're bright silver again it's just doesn't go with anything so we're going to take those and we're going to paint them the factory blue it's on the outside of this thing which is gorgeous it's like probably the prettiest blue toyota does blue right for sure um, and after we're done with that this truck's ready to go back home we'll send her off and finish off the video Let's go through the steps of how to paint your interior on a 2017 Toyota Tundra. First things first, we've got to remove everything that we're painting. There's just little clips all the way around and they release pretty easy on this. They just hold it in. The plastic has a mold casting that retains these little clips right here. So you just take those bad boys out and you're one step closer. Okay, so after you have the cup holder molding removed, what we ne now need to do is try to remove this whole thing. Um, in an effort to do so, we have to come in here. This is the safety release switch cover. That will make it so that we can push down on this little button down here and put this thing in neutral without having to turn the car on because it won't turn back off uh, unless this thing goes back into park. So we don't want to drain the battery. Take this shifter, twist that bad boy off. Bingo, that's sexy. That's what you want right there. Oh my, <laughs> oh my. Uh, anyways, I digress. You take that off. That's going to give us um, the levers that we need to come in with our pry tool all the way around the edge and start the prying of the center console.
For this next piece, what you're going to want to do is grab onto the bottom. It is held on by retainer clips and you're going to want to pull this out with a fair amount of pressure. Again, it's little retainer clips that are holding this bad boy in. So if you can just get an edge and then fold it all the way around. Should just pull right out. It is nerve wracking. So you're pulling on your dash. But these little yellow clips and white clips are just retaining it into the dash with a little bit of force. So you just pull those out, pull this down out of the way. And then we're going to come in here next. Pull this with just a little bit of pressure. It comes down. You got these two yellow clips right here. That comes out of the way. And now you've got your stereo exposed, which you have two, four. I believe those are 10 millimeter bolts. I'll confirm that in just a second. Okay. They are in fact 10 millimeter. That one there, there's one way back in there. You gotta get both of those. Same on the other side. Get both those and then we move on to the next step. After you have those four bolts removed, you're gonna come in behind. You're gonna apply, again, moderate pressure. Try and get this thing to pop out here. Then, on the back of the stereo, there's these connectors. It's best to just remove all this so that we can get to these panels easier. So that's what we're going to do next is remove all this and place it down on the floor. that you're gonna want to pull it out remove all the wires come over here and we're gonna have to start working our way around the bezel there's more of these little clips right here that just pull out with some pressure but we're gonna have to go all the way around because they all hold it in all these pieces all these bezel pieces down here um, this just pulls out this bottom piece underneath your steering wheel the tops pull out but there's bolts on the bottom that you got to get to unbolt them and then pull it down and then we're gonna work our way around the other side okay the passenger side airbag cover you're coming around peeling it up same way you do all the way around Just these retainer clips pull right out to expose your vents there and thus giving you access to your end pieces Next. For this bottom molding piece that's right underneath the airbag cover, you're going to have more of those push clips. You just pull those out, pry them, do what you got to do. Try and use a soft edge tool because we are working with plastics here. But that comes out and then we move on to the next step. Okay, so there you have it. If you look all the way around the edge here, all these little holes is where clips from other body panels are wedged into it and it's holding it into place so you will have to remove these body panels around the gauge cluster to get this center piece out behind the uh, four-wheel drive actuator switch is a little wire you gotta remove um, and then up here on these 
little bezels. You're just gonna come in behind and there's little clips that are gonna be located right here and all the way around really, just these little clips that focuses, there we go. These little clips, you just slightly pry them and it'll come wide off. Then you're ready to go. So here we are on the workbench. We are going to remove these vents right here uh, and this switch. And after doing so, we're going to take a red scotch bright, hit this whole surface. So the following is going to be a really super sweet, super edit with some kind of inspirational music to give you an idea of how awesome this is. And then hopefully the finished product. If we have any problems, I'm going to edit those out so you'll never know. <laughs> because I'm awesome. Okay, so if you're wondering on how to remove these decals off the side, that is going to be part of today's adventure. We have an eraser wheel connected and um, this bad boy attachment right here is basically rubber that just grabs onto it and peels it back. I'll show you a little bit of that real quick and then the finished product. So basically after your eraser tools come through and knocked off all the vinyl you will get some of this adhesive left on here and for that right there you're basically going to have to take some adhesion remover and just apply that. Goo Gone is probably the best stuff. That's what I use for pretty much everything adhesive. So. Remove that and now you have a clear surface that didn't get any scratches or anything that you would have got if you tried to remove it with a razor. Good news! All done with the spring. Everything's still in shambles. But we're going to get it all pieced together and it should look pretty amazing. But first we need to let it catalyze fully. Otherwise you risk putting imperfections in the surface that may cause adhesion problems. So we don't want to touch it until it's cured all the way. We're gonna give it a couple more hours to fully cure, but it's, it's uh, dry to the touch now, We're ready to go. I gotta load it up in the truck and um, we are heading on our way. Not quite done yet. I have all the vinyl peeled off on both sides of the TRD 4x4, so we're all clear there. We are going to eliminate the off-road part and just keep it clean. Uh, I got the vinyl that I need for this. It's a higher grade vinyl that lasts a lot longer in weather, so I wanted to pick up some good vinyl. I got that. Everything's pretty much ready to go. Now I just got to shoot down into, uh, into town to my place to get the vinyl cut and apply it to this bad boy but for now we are done with the shop got all of our spraying done got all of our 
air tool necessities handled. Now we just need to go back into town and handle the good stuff, which is finishing up cutting, designing, applying all the decals. Okay, so after we use some of this goo off pro strength remover, it's an aerosol can, you just wipe off all that leftover um, adhesive, and then we're ready to transfer our vinyls that we cut out. We're going with black. Okay, so let's wrap this bad boy up. From about 11 o'clock till, what's it, 6, 6.24, 6.30. That's about how long it took to get all this disassembled, painted, and placed back together. Um, I think it looks badass. It's a biased point of view, but I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, decal in the back window. Perfectly placed in between the headrest. Uh, that's something that he wanted to make sure that we got done. So perfectly placed in between the back headrest. Sick. Um, paint. Always. I don't know what my life is anymore, but I always get paint all over the place. Uh, but got it all out. Looks amazing now everything in this area is all the same and it matches the outside so I would say that was a successful mission maybe so on Kevin's spectrum of difficulty and I'm taking into consideration the developmentally dis delayed uh, I would say this is probably about an 8 8 out of 10 that is and Considering that most of the girls I dated are within the 8 out of 10 range, I'd say this is definitely doable with father issues. Um, yeah, so I'm delivering the car now. Please subscribe. Stay tuned. Definitely like. I need those subscriptions. I need as many as I can get so I can get YouTube famous and rich and do a lot of cool stuff. Maybe buy a boat. I never really wanted a boat, but I assume that's what YouTube famous will do to me. I don't know. Hopefully. See you next time.